It's one bite of the two-ton chocolate elephant at a time. I think the worst stage and the worst part of my life so far was when he was just aggressive and mean because we knew it really wasn't him. Every single day, uh, I had this obsessive thought about taking my own life and, and ending my life. It was actually harder for me to come out as mentally ill to my family than it was to come out as uh, a gay woman. I can't do anything about this, and this, this, this really sucks, knowing that that's, that's where it's going. Like, because I, I don't want to think about that. That's, that's my dad. One of the problems with mental health disease and brain disease is that it causes a person to behave differently, talk differently, act differently, but on the outside they look the same. Whether you know it or not, you have friends who are dealing with mental health concerns. You can be a source of stigma and shame to that person, or you can be a source of support and help seeking to that person. And so for a person who's suffering from that mental health problem, it's very, very difficult to feel like people can understand you. Sometimes it's hard for you to understand yourself. You know, most people get up every morning and they react to what life delivers. Being able to see the road ahead is so much better than the fog that so many people find themselves in. Becoming aware is certainly the most important thing you could do, aside from asking for help. You don't have to be afraid to take advantage of it. Let's destigmatize this. We all have our ups and downs and challenges along the way, and exercise is one of those things that helps me to keep a positive mindset and keep myself moving forward. You gotta find the things that give you energy. You gotta find the things that are gonna give you the relief. Going faster than what you wanna do, bigger than what you pick to do, is what's showing the most bang for your buck. Some days when I'm at the hospital, 24 hours, that means running up the stairs to see patients rather than taking the elevator. Jiu-Jitsu is nice because you can even do that when you're older. Some people call it the gentle art or, the, or the, the smooth art. People have to get motivated to change their lifestyle behaviors. The formula is simple, it's not easy. While your heart's pumping more, more of that protective chemical is going to your brain, giving you more of an opportunity to relearn a task that you may have lost because of that disease. It was a fight or forfeit, and uh, I said, hey, in my blood to forfeit.